And welcome back to uh, Miles Edwards, Ace Attorney Investigations. Uh, right, you're lying, George, apologies. Also, it is in the didn't Oh, yeah, I didn't do that last episode either, yeah, though. Yes, I said it was last episode. Um, That's why I said you did do it last episode. Okay, so right now, I'm. What's I'm going on? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's George. Uh, we have a Lawrence. <laughs> Hi. Uh, and we have an Iffy. If he speak to us. If he's muted. Crap, as if he did. Refuse. <laughs> there he is. All right. Carrying on. Uh, you're lying, George. We can't exactly have the police and detectives walking around here for us. I mean, we can. They're scaring the visitors away. So I hope you can understand how I feel. I it's think like it's one in the fucking morning, here, like canonically. Who the fuck is here? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I am. We must finish the investigation and resolve the remaining issues. Why don't we leave the rest of the Alabastrian and Babylese police? Ambassador! But he's a little police walking around here! Just a little more, is it? Miss Von Karma, I'm afraid I've made up my mind! Without oh, God! <laughs> no, Miss <laughs> And without permission, <laughs> you can't proceed with your investigation anyway, right? That's you can true. Off this <laughs> room. You can lift me off this room. You become the new drama emperor. So it's just the worst. I mean, I kind of get it. it. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I mean, I kind of get him wanting to get them out because, like, for one, I think this place doubles as a hotel, so there's probably people just staying there for now. Yeah, but like no. you see the normal police, you're like, oh, something happened. But you see like foreign police that aren't involved with like Bobbleys or whatever the fuck the other one's called. You're gonna be like, hmm, what the fuck is going on that they brought in these fucking randos? Wow. And shit. Like, I kind of get it, but like, <laughs> as he said at the very beginning, this area can be considered to be Alabastian soil. In which tell. case, we are nothing but foreigners in their land. Yeah, Is this real? Our investigation ends? Yep, and it came. Chief Wu, Mr. Edward, sir! There's another officer here. Chief Wu, this way. <laughs> this way, bitch. Yo! How about no? What does chief of even actually mean? I think it just means like boss or leader or chief. It's like, I can, yeah, like, I keep thinking they're just fucking with the word chief and like chief. I think it's the same meaning as sense in Japanese because it's, I believe it's Chinese for teacher. Agent mm. Lang, you're back rather on the scene rather quickly. If I lay back and took a break, I'd lose the scent of my prey, Mr. Prosecutor. Hole in my leg or no hole in my leg? Oh, fuck off, Lang! Why no, the fuck are you here? <laughs> because I have to solve this case, no matter what! Well, don't oh, shoot me so long, bro! I'm sorry to inform you, you could get fucked! <laughs> <laughs> don't take this the wrong way! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, so not personally! However, a member of Interpol just found out, was just found out to be a thief! And so... <laughs> Under these circumstances, I wish to put your investigation on hold. After all, I believe our own place can handle things from here. The hotel. They're quite capable, unlike someone I'm looking at. <laughs> I was saying, like, the specificity of a legend, George. <laughs> ah, this great, our investigation really will come to a close. Not so fast! <laughs> <laughs> and best I, just to give... I get it now. I really do. Just to give you a clean line. Oh, I'm very glad you understand how I feel. No, no piss off. not that. What I was talking about is... I know who the killer is behind tonight's murder. 
You, you, you n now? Uh, the killer? <laughs> Do you really mean that, Agent Lang? <laughs> Wolves don't lie. That doesn't make any no sense, who is it? Well, let me first say that I'm not talking about Mr. Cochin's murder. That was all Sheena. No, wouldn't technically a wolf... Have you ever heard the saying, wolves in sheep's clothing? That's technically a lie of itself. Lang Zee says, the truth lies not at the exit, but rather shines outside the maze itself. The truth is unexpectedly simple. So let me ask you this. Who do you think was Damask 2's killer? <laughs> I'll tell you who. It was you, Francisca von Karma! Okay. Did, did you shoot him in the leg or in the fucking head? Cause he's... <laughs> <laughs> I was the king! Hey, wait, but that's impossible! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although that whip is actually <laughs> quite... Uh, ow! Hold your tongue as a ludicrous remark you are about to make. Preferably for the rest of your Chibu. life. Shibu, he's dead. <laughs> True. Agent Lang, are you seriously accusing him of murder? Yeah, I uh, am. Yeah. He doesn't appear to be joking. Hey, sis, I remember that just before Ambassador Elba went to give his speech, he called you into his office, right? He, yes, he did, but what does that have to do with anything? I'm getting to that. Furthermore, in order to solve both cases, you moved around rather freely between Alabast and Babal, did you not? Objection! Objection! Advance your evidence that I am the killer! Not so fast! <laughs> I was just getting to that. Trust me, I'll show them to you in due time. Ambassador Alba, in order for me to bring this case to a close, I'll need to inspect your office one more time. Will you grant me permission? Oh. Mm. He's pausing. No things are. Oh fuck it then. Why not? I don't have a choice, do I? And Al uh, Ambassador Albert, you seem to be preparing quite more than you used to. <laughs> you don't like Lang. You don't like Lang. <laughs> then let's move out. Oh, and don't even think about running away, sis. My pack will be keeping a close eye on you. You could bet your bottom dollar on that. I don't Whoa. have any dollars on my bottom! <laughs> Do you have any dollars on your top? Maybe. Me? <laughs> As if I would have any reason to flee. But just so I clear, your logic had better be sound. Because I'll accept nothing short of a perfect explanation. So you can have to have a reason like that now, is that correct, George? <laughs> She's rather upset, not that I blame her. <laughs> I expected that you'd accept no less. But we'll see how long you can keep that nose of yours stuck up in the air like that. I'm pointing it downwards, so she's already lost. Agent Lang. As someone related to tonight's case, I request that you allow me to take part. And so that I may clean up my superior's mess. <laughs> I guess I should. The more the merrier, especially when it's the peanut gallery. Oh, in that case, I want to join in too. I still haven't seen what it looks like in Alabast yet. Uh, if you don't let Kay in, then you've got to let me in too, pal. We don't have to, Gumshoe. Stay out here. <laughs> oh. oh, well, I can't stay around and do nothing when Miss Von Kummer's in trouble. Bad points. Hey, Gummy, I, uh, let's have a competition to see who can save her first, okay? Okay, I'll take you up on that. Oh yeah, I'm fired and ready, re 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 to go. Okay, racing to go. As a detective, I don't believe this is like to be supposed to be excited over. <laughs> Sounds like this is going to get real interesting. I mean, oh, Alba. I'll be bringing these kids along for the ride. <sighs> Very well. From the place of my car. But I'd like you to keep in mind that this will be your last chance. <laughs> I'll get this whole mess cleaned up before you know it. Now let's go. James. 
I like how we just left the tape. I like how we just left the tape there. Yep, and the tape is just in the in the VCR. Mm -hmm. The important piece of evidence that they need to keep a hold of. It's just there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, now let's first go over the facts one more time. I can't believe the future started. <laughs> yeah. Gip. Yeah, it's a bit iffy. Oh, he's going. I think so. All right. Yeah. Salute, iffy. I don't think he has much lines though. It's fine. Manny Cochin's body was found over the Secretariat's office in Baba. The weapon that took his life was one of Alabast's ornamental knives. And then, the body of Damask II, Mr. Kashinu. I have no cash. <laughs> uh, was found here in the Alabastian Ambassador's office. Well, Through our investigation, we like... found that the murder weapon was the Primatex statue. Oh, I just realized it sounds like Casino as well, like Kashino. <laughs> Uh, and that this is actually Babal's statue. This case, no matter how I look at it. Sis, if it wasn't you, then there's no one else who could have pulled this off. Objection! Agent Lang, do you understand the full implications of what you are saying? No. Of course I do, sis, and I'm serious. You were on the trail of the smuggling ring, and you wanted any evidence that you could find. And so, while people were distracted by the Yadagorasu's appearance, you snuck in here. That's when you two ran into each other. You and that other thief who took advantage of the confusion from the fire. OBJECTION! Even if all that's what's cool, how do you explain the movements of the weapons? <laughs> don't worry, I plan to show that you're the culprit behind that, too. You had permission to investigate both embassies at will. With that kind of free reign, you could have easily taken the weapons across country lines. Hey, now! He just fucking grabbed, grabbed the, whip. the whip. Look, sis, I thought I already told you I'm not messing around here. This case isn't directly tied to the smuggling ring, but Sheena certainly is tied to the smuggling ring. He's right in Sina. She is a member of the smuggling ring. Ah, the correction between this case and the ring could not be deeper than what any of us can imagine. Let's get this ridiculous circus over with already! But from the Phoenix Wright is not here. Where's the circus I'm supposed to be looking at? It's a clown that's accusing me of murder, you buffoon! That's not Phoenix Wright. I'm going anyway, to you this, you now. calm down. <laughs> I'm having have, have Snickers. I'm calm! <laughs> have a Snickers, Franziska. Because you only know the facts of the Alabastian side of this case. I don't believe you can see the case as a whole and therefore solve it. What? But don't worry, I am taking this seriously as well. I will prove your innocence. Now shut up and eat your slickers. That's the only way to be, Mr. Prosecutor. But can you come up with anything else that can stop my hypothesis? Of course your explanation has to solve the mystery of the moving weapons as well. Of course, and I will. Let us now delve into the truth behind the murder of the Mask Two. You do understand, don't you, Myers Edgebass? This isn't just a confrontation against Agent Lang. If we can't figure out how the murder of the Mask Two is related to the smuggling ring, then it will mean the end of our investigation. So zero risk, gotcha. <laughs> as long as I have no good counterargument to his hypothesis, then the best I can do is walk this fine tightrope and see what I can do. Come on, Mr. Prosecutor, let's get started. Yes, let's. Let's get go. down for business. To the feet. The lane. <laughs> One of the Alabast knives was used in Babal to murder Mr. Cochin. And the murder weapon in the killing of Damask II is Babal's Prima Duck statue. Somehow, these two objects were able to penetrate the two countries' impenetrable security. The only one who traversed the two countries just before and after the crimes was you. Me, me too. So as long as I can't explain how the weapons moved about, Francisco will made a suspect. You got it, Mr. Prosecutor. So why don't you stop giving me a hard time? Under these circumstances, who the heck could carry a weapon across country lines? I've worked through every possibility, but there's only one that's plausible. Your boss. Agent Lang, the only reason I'm tough on you is because you took my fucking sandwich and you still haven't given me one yet. What I've learned from you just now is that you lost sight of yourself. What are you talking about? 
By focusing too intently on that which is in front of us, we become blind to the truth. Don't tell me Lang Z never said anything to that effect. You prosecutor! Who do you think you are speaking about Lang Z's proverbs like that? Someone who's not Lang Z and nobody likes Lang Z, he sucks anyways. I don't need his proverbs. Because my words are all you need to see the truth. And I'm pretty sure Lang Z's, one of Lang Z's line was, shut the fuck up. If Lang Z was so smart, he wouldn't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if Lang Z was so smart, he wouldn't be dead. Does he have a problem for living forever? Uh, right. Wise man once said, What's the forgiveness is, this? is divine, but What's... never pay full price for like well, pizza. Well, give, me, give me the statement, I don't want to think about it any more in this case than I have to. Lucky dokey. Um... I mean... What we're trying to prove. Well, the it's... only one to traverse the two countries just before and after the cars with you. It has to be this one, right? No, um, let me take a look at lines again. Uh, okay, so. One of the alabaster knives used in Babalta was used in Babal to murder Mr. Cochin. Alright, this yeah. is true. The murder weapon in the killing of Damask 2 is Babal's Primaduck statue. Yeah. Somehow, these two objects were able to penetrate the two countries' impenetrable um, security. I'm this, though. Um, wait. Because it wasn't just the murder weapons, it was also apparently the statues, how they transport an entire fucking statue across the security. Yeah, but that's what I said. These two objects were able to penetrate the two countries' impenetrable security. Yeah. I mean, apparently, according to what I'm reading here, that's the third line. Oh, the only things across the border are the Primadex statue and the knife. I should hardly think that those are the only two items. Okay. Oh, okay. He's worded it really weirdly. Okay, so in that case, it should be. It's apparently, one of the either statue doesn't matter which one. Alabasts. Yeah. He said, I mean, I'm just doing what you told me. Yeah, I know, I know. Agent Lang, those two items are not the only two to cross the border tonight. To be fair, like the card doesn't seem like a contradiction because he doesn't say only these two items. He just says these two items also. Cross because the border. technically, he mentioned there's two statues that got technically got smuggled over as well. So like, there's two statues in the weapon. The Master 2 was killed with a wild Primadox statue, yes? But if that's the case, then tell me, where did Alabar's Primadox statue go? To the bar! Precisely, and if the two statues were really squished, then this means that both statues were smuggled across the border at some point. Which means that a total of three items were smuggled across the embassies. Do I hear four? <laughs> Do you know Mass Lang? He all comes after two? Guess so. But you know what? It doesn't matter the number of items. Only that Sis is the only one who could have done it. Because the only person who went back and forth between Alabaster and Babal is her. Is that really true? Was there no one else who traveled between the two countries? Actually, there was definitely another person. One who pays a visit to both sides of the wall. It was the Yatagarasu. He's kind of a bitch. Is that really so in your mind? What lousy time to try and bluff your way out of this? I checked out what the guards said along with the security camera footage. You're not going to overturn my hypothesis that easily. But suppose there was some other way of... Suppose there was some other way other than through the space of doors. What other way? The other entity that managed to cross the border unharmed. If I pulled it out, it would open a new possible whole possibility. And though I hesitate to bring this out, as long as this entity exists, the impossible road becomes a possibility. It looks like you've got some clever idea in mind. I do. And I'm not going to show it to you because I hate you. <laughs> well, then but I'll show it anyways. <laughs> Fine then. Let's see this piece of evidence that will show me this other route. This piece of evidence will show us another way to move between the two countries. I believe it, it is. This one? Uh, with the photo, yes. It's this one. Okay. Agent Lang, I'm sure you're unfamiliar. Sorry, unfamiliar. I'm sure you're familiar with this unforgettable photo. I'm sure you're unfamiliar with this forgettable photo. That supernatural photo, like I said before. Humans can't fly! No, of course not. I understand that perfectly well. Then don't start claiming that Sheena somehow grew wings either. I ju we just said that humans can't fly. What the fuck do you think I was going to say? I won't allow you to take back what you said either. 
I'll say it again. It's not humanly possible to fly through the air without wings. So you better have a good explanation for this, Mr. Prosecutor. Have you tried using a glider? Or an airplane? Or any other flying mechanism that don't require a wing? Helicopters? They use propellers. Okay, but how can I prove that who it was that flew through the air in a spoke so? Wait, no humanly, not humanly possible. Eureka! Very well, you all have your explanation. It sounds like you have a good idea simmering inside the head of yours. Let's hear it! The face hidden within this photo's blurry trailed shadow is... It's the statue, not that one. The other not that one. one. The other one, thank you. Naturally, the shadow is the first smuggled object, the Primadoc statue replica. You can't be serious. The Atakarasu, or rather, Callisto New Dresden's agent Sheena, was inside the bar. She dressed the replica statue up in clothes and launched it through the air. Not so fast! <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor! You left out a very crucial bit in your explanation. I know I did, and I'm not fucking finished. She launched it through the air? <laughs> And how exactly did she do that? <laughs> he is literally bearing his fangs at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, have you ever heard of a breath mint? <laughs> but he has a point. How exactly did it move through the air like that? Remember to brush your teeth, kids, so you can have nice white pearly white fangs like Agent Lang. <laughs> <laughs> as long as this remains unsolved, we won't be able to move any closer to the truth. Because I got a snore out of George. <laughs> <laughs> George has been quiet this entire time until now. <laughs> Which reminds me, didn't he say this earlier? Hey sis, I remember that just before Ambassador Alba went to give his speech, he called you into his office, right? So just before the murder, Francis was called right here into this very room. Indeed. Indeed. If that's the case, oh, then... Oopsie. Whoopsie. <laughs> then there may be some the drugs problem. involved in this game. <laughs> I accidentally minimized the window. It's fine. <laughs> then that may be another avenue I can pursue. Agent Lang, in order for me to answer that question, I'll need to hear testimony from Miss Von Karma. Oh, what are you up to now, pretty boy? Lang, don't you tempt me. I am handsome as fuck. <laughs> oh, you mentioned something of interest, of interest to me. You said that just before the murder occurred, Miss Von Karma had been in this room because Ambassador Alba had called for her. And for that reason alone, you believe her to be the killer. Yeah, I guess I did say something like that. In that case, I believe it's my duty to ask what her final story is. <laughs> Do you really think a criminal would tell us the honest truth? Huh? I don't know, Drury. Dare you! As I, I said... Know, can... What? I don't know, can you... do you think you can stop talking about Lang Z for two fucking seconds? <laughs> As I've said numerous times, there is absolutely no proof that I am the killer. Miles Edgeverse, don't tell me you suspect me too. I don't. However, I can't ignore the fact that you're in this room at one point in time. Which is why I would like to hear about your movements in this room. <laughs> Francisca, I feel that I still don't have enough information. Which is why your testimony is incredibly important to the outcome of this case. Alright. So, what would you like me to talk about? Hmm. I'd like to please testify your movements in this room until the murder occurred. <laughs> Alright, let's try this your way for a change. Excuse me. But if what she has to say turns out to be a waste of time... I'll place her under arrest faster than you can help! No. Hmm. As you wish, how you'll fight you'll soon find that I shout no extremely quickly. <laughs> As I said earlier, I was assigned to guard duty in the Alabastian Embassy. No. After I saw the steel samurai off on his way towards the ambassador's office, I returned to, to the Rose Garden for a bit and checked upon the security situation. After all the preparations were in place, I go was called back to Ambassador by Ambassador Alba to his office. There, fucking up that voice. Francisca, I want us to make this clear from the very beginning. So what I wish to confirm is that the only time span yet in which you were in this office 
was before the murder occurred. Is that correct? Yes, of course. I see. For now, the only way that I can see for us to break out of this situation is to ask Francisco about her testimony in more detail. So press everything? Just stay on the call. Okay. Save ourselves some time. One, two... So we're gonna ride and that arrow is waiting on the prize water. Oh, that's it. No one. That's... At that time, the master dude's body had yet to be found in this room. Is that correct? That's right. But Ambassador Alba was here. One could hardly miss his rather large presence. Hmm. <laughs> the criminal will say anything to get out of getting arrested. How do we know you're not lying? Well, if you need proof, I'd be happy to oblige you. Seriously? Like I keep telling you, when I arrived at his office, Ambassador Alba was already here. He was standing by the flower box on the windowsill, watering, watering his plants. Oh, I can attest to that. I remember speaking with the lovely lady around that time here in my office. Thank you, Lord. All right, then. Add that statement to your testimony and let's hear some details. So, Ambassador Alba was in this room at the time, was he? Now, press again. <laughs> okay. For the sake of being far, I'd like to ask you something. How did you know that Ambassador Alba was watering his plants at the window still? What do you mean by that? The entrance room is on this side, however, the stacked window in the. Sorry, my brain died. If what you say is true, then when you enter this room, his body would have been like a wall. He would have been blocking your view of what he was doing, isn't that correct? I suppose it was a bit hard to see around him, but fortunately for me, Ambassador Alba is not an immovable wall. <laughs> no, I'm immovable. What you say, Missy? I'm through the power of my wall. I knocked before I entered, and as he, I did, he turned around to greet me. With a watering can in his hand, so it's only natural to believe that he was watering his plants, right? No, I was watering your grave. I suppose. After his greeting, we spent a little time talking about his flowers. He had obtained them himself and is growing them with the utmost care, you know. Yes. The plants in this room, they're all like my children. Is that it? Except from that one, that one looks like Lang. How <laughs> <laughs> about you're literally pointing at Lang right now? The passion Ooh. flowers in the flower box on the video sill are growing beautifully too. All four of them are in full blue. Miss Von Karma, what did you say just now? I said that the flowers are growing beautifully. What about that statement? Do you not understand? What do I not understand? I do not understand why a certain thing is the way it is. I'd like you to append that statement to your testimony. Very well. Well, Robert, is it obvious now? Oh, okay. So I have to present the... The coming flowers, though, are. Four large passion flowers, but there's only two. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Francisca! For some odd reason, your testimony contradicts with this piece of evidence. It does appear that way. <laughs> I knew it. I knew we couldn't trust your words, sis. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing discrediting this von Karma like this? Yes, sir. Oh, shoot! Stand down or I cut your paycheck again. Oh, but I gotta say something, boss. If you keep this up, she's gonna get taken away, sir. Come, 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 shoot! Don't make me. Oh! Did you, did you hear that, <laughs> by the way? What's up? I don't know if you heard that or not. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> no, not this time. Oh, you were trying to make the ripping paper noise, right? <laughs> oh, no, so. Yeah, oh, no. it's super quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, we know. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, let me try to... Yeah, yeah, one sec. Uh, I did my best, but it's not bad enough paper. Hey, okay. oh, that is it what I saw. I have made not a single mistake in my testimony. And for this, I am still under suspicion for murder. Is the number of flowers really all that important as this juncture, Miles? At the very least, it is contradiction to the in this enigmatic case. 
One last I find hard to dismiss as irrelevant. <laughs> then let's hear it, Mr. Prosecutor. What does the number of flowers have to do with anything? What does it prove? I believe the answer to that will become clear when you should examine the flower box. How does this contradiction come about? There's something behind this discrepancy. They're my beloved flowers. I've grown them with the utmost care. Except from that one. You're literally pointing at Lang again. Fuck that guy. <laughs> so I ask that you please be careful with them as you examine them, Mr. Edgeworth. It's not lying, you sure. go! Why not? <laughs> so this is what I think your plans I threw it on the ground! <laughs> <gasps> hmm, I understand. I still gotta throw it on the ground. Why? Because I don't like you. And I won't arrest until I've expected every suspicious looking cranny. Let's, let's top it, right? The, the, the holes, I think. What about that? They need to be flowers. They need to be called passion flowers. Oh, it's the holes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, so I'll just ignore this bit. I think we, I think we set this line oh, before, like, well, right. oh. Go away! Oh, no, no, that's an all. No, no, this is 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 no. What? Oh, okay. What are you doing? Because it's just gonna go to the fucking. Oh right. Yeah, because that line was important. Okay. Um, what those were all new lines. Say again. Yeah, so those were all new lines. Yeah, I know, but I don't think that this is the part where I need to show evidence, right? Um, if let's hear you to examine the crash and fires. They're saying that there's only two fires, so you want to present evidence okay. when prompted. Such evidence. Okay. <laughs> I believe I have just a piece of evidence you acquire. You just told me not to examine. You told me to examine the holes, then so I just thought. Oh, yeah, okay, I checked, this... yeah, I think I think that was the case, and I read the, the thing that you told me to read, and then I was like, oh, look at that. It's fine. We'll be on the right path. So. So I went, oh shit. Okay. Oh, you do, do you? You have such confidence in the face of your current plight, but I highly doubt that it'll last until the end. And we'll see you guys next time on Miles Edgeworth. Ace Attorney Investigations. See you. Oh.